All right, well, the first question you're going to ask is, where the hell have you been, Steve? But I'll get to that in a later blog. Um, I've got out my bigger blacker box right now and my little cube craft Steve, and uh, I got something new to bring to the party. I uh, put an order, an order, and uh, I got some new stuff. Might have to set this up in a couple of different shots because, um, well, as you can see, this takes up a pretty good portion of the screen. Uh, this was an order I placed not that long ago, a couple of days ago actually, and uh, got some new things from the Cards Against Humanity people. So I've got my handy dandy opening tools and uh, we're going to see what's inside this box and it's some updates for Cards Against Humanity of course because I love this game because I'm a horrible person uh, so there was a lot on the site that I needed to catch up on and I decided it was finally high time I did and uh, I gotta say their shipping was really really quick I only put this order in last Thursday and it's Wednesday now so it's less than a week later and inside the box, you will see what? some packing peanuts. I have got the new bigger blacker box from Cards Against Humanity. I'm going to open that up and see what's inside it. You can see the size difference between that and the old one. Lay that aside for a second. I've also got the green box. 300 new cards for me to go through. It's been out, out for a while now, but I just got it. And I ordered up <laughs> the weed pack. Let's see if I can get that to focus up a bit. Got the weed pack and <laughs> the period pack. Um, <laughs> oh God almighty. And uh, last but not least, the sci-fi pack. So I'm gonna get the uh, packing box out of the way here. And I don't know if I'm going to need to do this in another shot, or or what I'm going to need to do. Stupid packing peanuts are going to keep me from just throwing this wherever I want. Get that out of the way. And I mean, look at the... You can see the size difference here between the old, bigger blacker box, and the biggest blacker box, I suppose. And... It feels really different. The sturdiness on it is amazing. So there's the difference lengthwise, really. And, uh, I mean, it's about the same height. You can hear their stuff inside this. So uh, I'm going to get myself realigned here, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, first up, I'm going to get the biggest, blackest, or the bigger, blacker box, the new bigger, blacker box, open. Uh, the thing is wrapped in plastic that's making things all nice and shiny. So, let's, uh, I don't know a way to tackle this easily. And the second reason for my handy dandy opener is I know there are things hidden inside this box that I'm going to want to get out. So, keep that on hand. What in the... Ennui, raptor attacks, an endless stream, angels interfering with otherwise, no longer finding, cards against humanity, card funny, ironically bullying a truck, ironically buying a trucker hat, and then ironically being a trucker for 38 years, a falcon with a cap on its head. Okay, so they've put the cards from the sets on the box itself. Uh, now that it's open, it's just the matte black finish that, it, uh, that we're used to from Cards Against Humanity. Uh, forgive me with the tripod work here, but it's the new bigger blacker box. I'm just going to aim things down again so I can open this thing up. If it wants to open. I remember the old one used to take a while to open before it got broken in. Come on. Oh, it's starting to go. You can see it's starting to fall out. Come on. And I'm just reading random cards as they fall out. Come on, you know you want to. Open up. Ah, there we go. Ah, let's see what's been bopping around in here. We have... Another copy of the box expansion. 
which I already have from the first bigger blacker box, but what the heck. Can't go wrong with two box expansions. Instructions for use course, do not. Beautiful thing is I can stand all my cards up like that now from the different sets. This is another set of blank cards. Now, the, I knew the blank cards were coming. The only thing on the website that you can order right now, um, well, you could order up to yesterday that was available that I didn't have was Your Shitty Jokes. I didn't bother to order that one up because I've got these blank cards that I knew were coming. Uh, I've got these blank cards that came out of the first bigger blacker box that I just haven't used yet, so they're still there. Uh, and I probably will not use, well, I've used a couple of them. Now, one of the things that I knew was in here, come on, this is enclosed within this envelope is one completely unique procedurally generated cards against humanity card. You now own the only copy of this card that will ever exist. We hope this will make you briefly happy, the Cards Against Humanity team. So this is a special card, and I don't know, well, we don't know what it is. We won't know what it is until we open it. So I'm going to have to free it from its prison. And I don't want to ruin the glue, and I don't want to ruin the card. Uh, let's see how well I can do that. To cut the envelope open. And of course I know you thinking to yourselves, I just tuned in to watch an idiot open a sealed envelope when he could just rip the thing open. But I don't do that with my Cards Against Humanity cards. I try and keep the packages intact as best I can when I'm opening them. Um, all of the expansions that I've ordered that I currently have, uh, I still have all the packaging for. They're in the bigger blacker box. I'll try and get them out later to show you as we go. And I've almost got this perfectly sliced open without damaging the card. There we go. And inside we get one Cards Against Humanity card. I'm actually happy it's over like that, so that I, I haven't seen it yet. I have no idea what's on this card. It is a tall Republican with, a hist with history's greatest asshole. That seems topical. But, uh, yeah, this one's unique to me now, and uh, I'll put it back in its individually wrapped home for now until I drop it in with the rest of the set. So back it goes into its secure envelope. And that gets laid aside for a second. There are two other surprises to this box. This box is amazing. I love how sturdy this thing is actually. Uh, I'm going to get to the bottom in a second. I'm going to lay the bottom aside for a minute. That can go over there. If I bring in the lid of the bigger blacker box, this has the same gag that the original bigger blacker box had. Uh, yeah, there it is. And my original box, I just ripped out the paper entire, the false top. We all know there's a false top in here. Um, I can feel the card just about here. So I'm going to pull this off camera for a second, just so I can cut a little easier. To try and do it without damaging the card or the lid. Hmm. This didn't work so well for me the last time either. I hopefully have made the first incision. And I have. And I'm away from the card itself. And you know what? I can do the same thing I did before. There's the card. So we have two of the biggest, blackest dick in foil card. And I know, I just ruined the lid of the box. I don't care. It's just paper. It's an extra false top put into the, into the box. tearing the paper away. I'm just going to tear it to the meat and get cell out. I mean, it doesn't interfere with the box acting like a box, because the box stores stuff. 
doesn't really bug me. I'll finish cleaning the whole thing up later. Uh, yeah, that'll do for now. That'll do for now. I'll lay the lid over there so you can see it. Now, this piece in the center. And on mine, I can actually see that the glue is let go a little bit right here. This one is false. There is a card underneath this. Uh, I don't feel one in any of the other cubbies, but this is a false bottom. And again, I've got my handy dandy opener. I'm just going to take this off camera again. Because it's really hard to get into that on camera. But on this one, like, the bottom is actually pulling away. Where's the edge of the card? There it is. Always try and cut so that you don't cut the card, because you don't want to damage the card itself. This one's harder to get at. And it's really hard to complete that cut. But I will persevere. I'm into the paper there now. I'm under the paper. Lifted it out one way. I don't even know if I can get at it the second way. I have really fat hands. There we go. I did with the lid, I'm just ripping the entire false bottom out of this thing because I can. And inside we have a dick so big and black that it's a problematic stereotype. It's also stuck to the bottom of the box. There we go. So that is the two secrets of the new bigger blacker box. And there's no damage to that card, so that card will join the rest of my sets in this new box. Which should be good for storing everything in. And uh, for now, I'm going to lay that to the side because I've got more to get to. So you can slide over there, the lid slides back down. And there is the bigger blacker box, the original one. God love it. And I have... Ooh, need to adjust even more. I have the green box. The green box is the latest set. When they redesigned it, they did the red, the blue, and the green. Uh, the red and blue contain the first through six expansions, and I have all those already. They're in the big black box back there. So, the new green box with some new cards. And I'd like to say I've got everything complete now. I, there are some packs that I've missed out on. Uh, I didn't get the Trump pack or the Hillary pack. Uh, I didn't get the Trump survival kit, mostly because I'm in Canada, but I couldn't get the Trump survival kit. Uh, but that doesn't worry me too much. And I wanted to say that I had everything that the website had available. And I did up until yesterday. And now they've released the college pack. Uh, which actually contains a full set of Cards Against Humanity 2.0. And I'm probably going to have to order that up. Because there's a lot of stuff in that that I want to get. Let's see if I can focus things up on here. The green box contains 300 all new cards that expand your deck for Cards Against Humanity. Making your life worth living again for up to three consecutive minutes. And I don't know if it's going to get picked up here, but this actually... There is a holographic foil in there for Cards Against Humanity, and it changes if you turn it the other way. Uh, take it away and read it for a second. No, Corbs Augment Humidity. And it's supposed to change another way. 100% Genuine Corbs Against humid Humanity. Humanity. Okay. Anyway, that's, <laughs> that's Cards Against Humanity messing with us again. Um, so, without further ado, let's open it up. And we have... You can see the division for the white and black cards. I'll go through a few of them. I do like the green box. I might have to order up the red and blue box. But I already have those cards. And my camera's battery died, so uh, I had to start again. But I've got the green box open here now, and let's see what I got here. 
may not look like I may not be much to look at, but I <laughs> oh wow. Uh, everybody in the club blank. Top Google autocomplete results for Barack Obama, Barack Obama height, Barack Obama net worth, Barack Obama blank. Uh, son, take it for someone who's been around the block a few times. Nothing puts her in the mood like blank. So, I mean, I don't want to go through all of these and spoil some of the surprises in here. Summer love and having a blast. Blank happened so fast. What are all those whales singing about? Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm... Let's see how that worked out. I, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm content. Yeah, okay, fine. Not funny, but I'm not here to be funny. I'm just here to open the box. Uh, see. <laughs> oh my god. Out of control teenage blowjob parties. Of course. What would life be without those? Uh, reaching nature barbecue chips are better than sex. Quinoa. Nope. Defeating a gorilla in single combat. Nope. Uh, nope. <laughs> you can see some of these cards are just the same as... The sense of humor in here is amazing, and you've got to accept that you can be a horrible person, and it's just a card game. Moon people. Uh, no. Rolling so hard. Gay thoughts. My dog dying. Uh, a strong horse and enough rations for 30 days. Gregor, my largest son. These are... I just grabbed whatever I could there somewhere along the way. The body of a 46-year-old man. Misogyny, because there's always never enough misogyny, really. Uh, starting a shitty podcast, <laughs> which I've been doing for six years. No, it's not shitty. The historian is not shitty at all. Uh, nope. Getting trapped in a conversation about Ayn Rand. Showering praise upon the Sultan's hideous daughters. Eating people. Uh, the mysterious fog rolling into town. Two. Raising three kids on minimum wage. They're really everything. That sums it up. That sums up the green box. Everything. They've gone all out. I think the humor is getting... I don't want to say the humor is getting worse. I don't think the humor ever was good to start, to start with. It was just enjoyable. And you could play a card game, enjoy the card game, know that you're not really a shitty person at heart. Uh, just a truly horrible person at heart. So that is the green box. I'm just going to put everything back in there for now because it's handy. Uh, everything is going to go into the new bigger blacker box eventually, but that's the green box. Uh, I'm not going to go through every card in there. Oh my god. Uh, what one to do next? What one to do next? We could do the sci-fi pack. Why not do the sci-fi pack? That would be the next one. So I'll get my handy opening tool and I'm going to do this again off camera. And like I said, I've been doing these... I keep all of the things rather than tear them. Uh, I like to put the cards back in once I'm done. So I just cut along the top like that. Now luckily the weed pack is actually resealable. So first in the sci-fi pack, Cards Against Humanity. I've oh, still got a thing on the back. Uh, wallpaper art by Daniel Warren Johnson, CardsAgainstHumanity.com, like we said. Okay, I have no idea what's in here, so let's start with the black cards. Why not? Computer. Display on screen and enhance. Madam President, the asteroid is headed directly for Earth and there's only one thing that can stop it. What is the answer to life, the universe, and everything? You have to have that in sci-fi. Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to... You have violated the Prime Directive. You exposed an alien culture to blank before they were ready. You're not going to believe this, but I'm from the future. You've got to stop. This won't be like negotiating with Vogons. Humans only respond to one thing. Okay, so the black cards are all right. Let's see what we've got for some... Okay, uh, we have Sean Connery. I think that's a bonus. Um, okay. Nope. Misty room full of glistening egg sacs. Going too far with science. Bad things happen. Three boobs. An alternate history where Hitler was gay, but he killed all, still killed all those people. A hazmat suit full of farts. Protagonist of no qualities. Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. 
nice. Cheerful blowjob robots. That girl from the hung the Hungry Games. How to avoid copyright infringement. Uh, cosmic bowling. The end of Lost. Trim the poop out of Chewbacca's butt hair. A plant devouring space worm named Rachel. How great was the Men in Black movie? Nine seasons of sexual tension with David Duchovny. Frantically writing equations on a chalkboard. Vulcan sex madness. Funkified aliens from planet Groovius. The dystopia we're living in right now. Yes. <laughs> Laying thousands of eggs in a man's colon. Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. Sean Connery. Sean Connery. So that is the sci-fi pack. In all its glory. And I will place it back into its Mylar prison. Like I said, the rest of them are in there, and they are kept that way. I'm just anal like that. Uh, which one? Shall we save the weed pack for last? We'll save the weed pack for last. Here is the Cards Against Humanity period pack. Uh, clear packaging, which is different for them. I thought it was going to be in some kind of a thing like the weed pack is in. Uh, you can clearly see that this is packaged with a uh, with a maxi pad. Um, the cards are inside it. There's something else in here too. Well, only one way to find out. We have opened the, the packaging. Might save that for <laughs> might save that for after. Um, is there a way to get everything out from the side? No, nope, you're gonna have to. Oh, there's a heart-shaped chocolate because nothing helps out better. So I'm told because I'm a guy and we'll never know. Uh, but all, guys always keep a ready supply of chocolate on hand because chocolate will always help every situation, uh, as will alcohol. So yeah, I don't need that part anymore. We'll. Lay that over there. Seriously, they included a chocolate heart. Kind of like the date. Might have that later. Uh, destroying a pair of underwear. I just realized these ones don't actually have a package to reseal them in. I'm going to have to put a separator in with the cards. Oh, and now to try and get this open without hurting the cards at all. Luckily, my handy dandy opener is razor sharp. This may take a minute to do, but I will get this open. And I'm opening this one on camera, sort of. Mm. Careful, careful, gentle. Oh, well, I can just go up under that. There's a plastic fold. Slice. There we go. Easier than opening the old CD plastic. Am I dating myself by saying I remember opening the plastic off CDs? How about cassette tapes? Taking it off cassette tapes was worth. So, we'll lay the white cards aside for now. Lay them down. Tampax. Don't let your period ruin blank. Can a woman really have it all? A career and blank? What gets me wet? My body, my voice, won't my choice? New from Mattel, it's Barbie. And... okay. Sure. I got it for the novelty of it. Come on now, like seriously. Um, these actually feel different than the than the actual regular cards. It's like I don't know. I'm always gonna know what, what one is this set. Dancing carefree and white. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, I have no real commentary on this because face it, I'm a guy. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to... A woman, a woman we definitely would be, in a lot of respects, we're overdue for a woman president. I mean, I'm Canadian, we've had, we've had a female prime minister, you know. Uh, okay... Mm, feelings, lots of feelings. So, yeah, I mean, I know I flicked through those fairly quickly. The, it was a completionist move more than anything um, to get the period pack because, hey, chocolate. 
Can't go wrong with chocolate. Speaking of chocolate, chocolate is good, allegedly. Not that I'd know anything about it. Uh, Cards Against Humanity, 1.6 ounces. That was my focus. Let's sharpen it up. We have the weed pack with the different types. Warning, this product does not contain any actual marijuana. We smoked it all. Thanks, guys. Good to know you're looking out for the public like that. Like I said, this pack, I don't mind because this is actually resealable. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up the weed pack. Out of its resealable plastic. I wonder. No, it just smells like playing cards. Let's see what we got in the weed pack. Cheesy crunchies. Okay first white card that came out. Um, I know what these are. Uh, I don't need to open these up. These are um, Cards Against Humanity branded papers. Rolling papers. I have a friend I could, I could pass these on to that would definitely get use out of them. Uh, or I might leave them inside the uh, the packaging for the weed pack. Is there anything else? No, nope, nothing else in there. So, let's start with the black cards. Hold up, I gotta deal with and then I'm going to smoke this. You know what's like really funny when you think about it? Okay, here's the pitch. James Franco and Seth Rogen are trying to score some weed and then... Everyone is staring at you because you're... Instead of playing a card this round, everyone must stare at the cards are while making a sound you'd make after tasting something delicious. Mmm. There's an option to come up. And... Whoop. Cheesy crunchies like this we had earlier. Being too high for airplane. An eight foot man smoking a six foot bong. My own fingers. Unbelievably soft carpet. The banks, the media, the entire system. Man. Smoking a blunt buck ass naked. Sandwich with Cheetos in it. Ancient aliens. Snoop Dogg. Hot tub. Huge popcorn nugs of hairy alien weed. Dropping stuff and knocking everything over. I knew that drunk, let alone high. Uh, forgetting to breathe and then dying, getting high while watching planet earth, too much edibles, how bright the sun is, a bong rip so massive it restores justice to the kingdom, whatever the fuck I was just talking about, a whole cheese pizza just for me, dicking around on the guitar for an hour, grinning like an idiot, dank ass cancer weed, eating all the skin off a rotisserie chicken, and smoking a joint with former president Barack Obama. It's life goals right there. So we have the weed back. I do like the weed pack. Uh, now, again, what I said I really liked is that I can put everything careful with the papers. Always be careful with your papers. Slide it all back in nice and neat, and the weed pack actually completely reseals, which I do like. So, that is the weed pack. And I'm going to bump my camera. See if I can guess everything back down here. That is the sci fi pack, the weed pack, period pack with chocolate, which looks good, of course, because it's chocolate, and the green box which now joins everything else I have that really completes, did complete until the release of the college pack, uh, my collection of Cards Against Humanity. Um, I don't know how easily I can maneuver around to get everything into the one shot to have it here, but it's all in the, in the bigger blacker box. Uh, let me see what I can do. Okay, I'll pull that back. Weed pack, sci-fi pack. I might just put everything in the new bigger blacker box since I'm already here. See it creeping back into the screen. Take the top off. 
lay the top to the side. And don't need my handy dandy opening tool anymore. I do need the bigger blacker box though. Hmm. Bear with me for just a second. While I reach forward, come here, keep crest Eve. You can come off of there. Put the camera back down. Sorry about that. And as I said before, everything is in here. The original box expansion, that's all the expansion packs that we can get that were available and uh, the various sets. I don't even know what's where anymore. I think it's just all separated, all black cards and uh, all the white cards. So, do what you do. We'll call this the official transfer. I'm losing a lot of cards here as I'm doing this. And they stand up now as opposed to lying flat. I really have no idea if there's any order to any of this anymore. box expansion. The dividers I don't think I need anymore. Let's see if I can get everything to fall that way down. I'm not going to fill every compartment that all the way to the top. I'm just going to randomly pick and put more stuff in. But you can see how much room there is in this new one versus the old box. I'm fitting so many more cards in here. That is the white cards. Do I have anything in the separator? Uh, two. They can lay it aside. And these are all the black cards. I don't think I need the dividers any. Do the dividers still fit? The dividers don't even really fit. Uh, where is my... It's got to be in here because the last time we played. It was, like it was the original biggest blackest dick. So I've got all the dividers out. And you can see how things are fitting in here now. Uh, why not take the green box while I'm here. And I'm going to make a mess. Bump my camera. This is what happens when you get too greedy and try and do everything at once. bumping the camera and the camera motion. That's most of the cards from the green box. And that's the last few cards that fell on the floor. Push the box back. Green box I don't need now. There are... Biggest Blackest Dick. And the dick's so big it's problematic stereotype. 
and my secret card. They can go together. I'll put them in between the two box expansions just for safekeeping. Put the box expansions down there. Two packs of blank cards. And then we have the design pack. Uh, we have the science pack. Now all these are open lately, so I'll just keep them to keep them neat. Uh, the Jew pack, we'll put that in near the top so the others will go there. Um, what did I do with the sci-fi pack? Okay. There is the geek pack. These are all in the other videos. Worldwide web pack. Uh, food pack that can go in there and I'll put the sci-fi pack in next with the fantasy pack on top of it the 90s nostalgia pack uh, Christmas 2012 2013 and 2014 this column is going to be all expansions that's the Jew pack I don't think I'm going to be able to fit the weed pack in there. Uh, if I fold the plastic over, I can fit the period pack just in there. And I'll put the weed pack up in there, I suppose. So that is my entire Cards Against Humanity collection right now. Uh, the original game, first through six expansions, all the black cards that go with them, the green box, the weed pack, and every available expansion for purchase off of the Cards Against Humanity website uh, except the college pack which I'm gonna have to order now because they released the back to school pack. So that is my new bigger blacker box and I'm just gonna take the cover close everything up stand up and we have Cards Against Humanity. I'm Steve, and I'm a horrible person.